Salutations, everyone. For us to Ward Condors here, and the purpose here to this video is that I would like to talk about former WWE superstar Ashley Massaro, who died at the age of 39 years old this past week at her own house. And it's been confirmed that she did kill herself by hanging herself to death. It's been confirmed that that exactly happened. And I would like to talk about it, discuss a few things about that. Ashley Massaro left WWE back in the middle of July of 2008, and the reason why she left WWE in the first place, the number one reason why, was that she had a sick daughter to take care of, and the daughter is now grown up, she's 18 years old now, and since her death, there started a GoFundMe page to pay for her college and tuition and what have you. And the thing that though is though is that when Ashley left WWE back in 2008, part of the reason why not a lot of people are talking about her death is because she left wrestling completely altogether in 2008. Like, who's Ashley Massaro? No, no, she left wrestling completely altogether back in the summer of 08, and she didn't like go to TNA. She would never like be appearing like in any of those like like award shows, like the Hall of Fame ceremony, like shows like Trish Stratus, Ivory, Jacqueline, Tori Wilson, Alundra Blaze, Lita. When all those women went into the Hall of Fame. Ashley Massaro was never present at any of those events. She lived a boring, normal, quiet life after leaving WWE altogether in 2008. Like, a lot of people like myself thought maybe she'll go to TNA in 2009, where, like, she'll be the valet for Alex Shelley and Chris Saban, you know, two wrestlers who are similar to Brian Kendrick and Paul Leonard. That would be a perfect role for her. But no, she left wrestling completely altogether, lived a boring, normal, quiet life. And it is kind of gets upsetting a little bit to talk about something like this. I remember when I did my very first YouTube contest back in the summer of 2008. There were 36 participants in it. Ashley Massaro was the most polarizing contestant out of that entire contest it was that I held on my YouTube channel 11 years ago. You either loved her or you despised her completely. There was no one way or another. I remember getting a lot of comments where basically, for an example, like... Christy Hemming and Kelly Kelly are eliminated. I think retards are voting in this. Mickey James needs to win this whole contest. If Ashley wins this, this thing is just a complete waste of time. And Ashley Massaro ended up coming in second place for that entire YouTube contest. I'll never forget it. I have all those videos still on my YouTube channel. You can check it out whenever you want. It was so much freaking fun. And what made people hate Ashley Massaro even more so as that contest went on was that she asked for it still to be released while that contest was going on. And it's like, even though Ashley Massaro was released, I'm going to leave her in this because we're almost through with this anyway. And also, I need to remind you that she, Ashley Massaro doesn't look, in fact, like similar to someone who I hold dear and love to my heart. And I think you know exactly who it is I'm referring to. She is very similar and looks exactly just like Avril Lavigne in a way. Hold on a sec. <laughs> the thing, though, is, though, is that basically there's a lot of issues with why she committed herself of hanging herself to death. She was depressed. She had multiple injuries. She had a broken left leg. She broke her nose three times. She had two herniated discs in her back of her neck. I have recently made another Ashley Massaro video of that describes the injuries it was that she sustained during her time in WWE. And that also leads to basically herself taking drugs and issues and whatever and what have you. I remember basically when Beth Phoenix, Alundra Blaze, Lita, Trish, Tori Wilson, all those girls went into the Hall of Fame. They would never even acknowledge or even mention Ashley Massaro in their Hall of Fame speeches. Like like when Beth Phoenix went in, she thanked Candice Michelle, she thanked Victoria, she thanked Tracy Brooks during her time on the independent circuit she worked with. She thanked Gail, she thanked freaking Tori, she freaking thanked Mickey James especially. And it's like... Ashley Massaro's name was, like, never even, like, name dropped by any of her co-workers it was that she worked with during her time in WWE. And what that kind of, like, leads to is that makes her feel, like, more isolated. Like, I don't think Ashley Massaro ever attended in a single one of those Hall of Fame ceremonies that it was that they do every year, did she? I don't think she did. And I mentioned previously before in this video that Ashley Massaro, the number one reason why she led WWE in the first place back in July of 2008 was because she had a sick daughter to take care of. And I'm thinking, like, did the guy, like abuse her, like, in the relationship, did she, yeah, I know, like, whatever happened to, like, the individual it was that she was married to, or if not, she had, like, a baby with, like, where exactly did he ever go to, did she ever, like, acknowledge, like, him, like, in any of her, like, on Instagram or Twitter or anything, like, on, like, anything like that on her social media pages or anything and what have you, you'd, you'd think that she would, because basically that's how you, like, you live, like, a stable life, you've, like, faced your fears and, like, Basically, like, he's probably, like, a jerk now for now that probably he's one of the reasons why Ashley Massaro committed suicide by hanging herself to freaking death. There's a lot of reasons why with, with what probably t eventually led to her taking her life away, but I'm pretty sure that's a good reason why that she's no longer with us. 
And going back to what I say earlier, I do believe that the number one reason why she killed herself was pr probably because, like, the her husband or ex-husband or whatever that she was married to that she had the baby with in the relationship, if she was married or not. Either way, the guy who left her probably was the number one reason why she ended up killing herself. And without going into any further detail in this video, this video is five minutes long. This is probably good enough to explain some explanations and give reasoning with why Ashley Vassar ended up killing herself, despite all the other issues it was that she had with trying to sue WWE for the multiple concussions and injuries it was that she sustained. There's nothing we could do to bring her back. Thank you for watching the video now, ladies and gentlemen. This is Preston Ward Condor signing off for now. Bye.